Hey guys, welcome back to another Vlogmas video. Today I'm going to share with you some of my November favorites, um, but I also think that a lot of these things would be really great gifts. So I don't know what I'm gonna title this video yet, but probably something about like November favorites and gifts. Uh, or gifts ideas, gift ideas, something along those lines. I probably am gonna do an entirely separate gift guide video. I have actually a couple different ones that I want to do. Um, so I'm not necessarily including like all of my ideas for gifts into this video. This is just uh, stuff that I, it's favorites of mine, but that I also think like, hey, in case you're still thinking about what to get people, if you're like me and you haven't bought one single present yet. And by the time this video goes up, I probably still won't have bought any gifts. I'm terrible. Oops. So hopefully I'll have bought some. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. There are some ideas in here, I feel like, if you are still searching for gifts to give. Like all my videos, this is going to be completely all over the place and random. There is no rhyme or reason. This is not all beauty products or all any one thing. It's just crap that I really like and I want to share with you because I think it's crap you might really like too. And I'm just kidding because it's really not crap at all. It's amazing. Let's start with the first thing, which obviously I'm gonna need a little bit more of to function today. And that is this amazing coffee cup. This little beauty is a Yeti Rambler. I will fully admit, I'm not like full bore on the Yeti train. I will just use whatever I find at Walmart or whatever. But I saw this, um, it's called a Rambler and it is meant for coffee and hot drinks and it's smaller. I have like a big thing that I use for water and stuff, but it's a little much for coffee. Like I'm certain I probably drink that amount of coffee in a day, but I don't want to know that I am by having it all in the cup in advance. Do you know what I'm saying? Also, this is white and I don't know why, but I like bright white products. So yeah, I just think this is really cute and I think it would make a really great gift. They also have black, a bunch of different colors. Um, I will leave it linked down below. I got mine on Amazon. I think they're about $25 uh, and I think they would make a great gift if you've got somebody who you know enjoys like coffee, tea, maybe they're doing a school run and so they're having to get their kids to sit in car lines and stuff like that in the morning. It'll keep your coffee nice and hot while you're in the crazy car lines. So it's definitely a favorite of mine and I think it would make a really good gift. Now, if you've seen my winter skincare routine, then you've heard me talk a little bit about this already. This is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. Oh, I absolutely love this. I put this on every night, I wash my face, and this mask is just, if you have dry skin, even if you don't have like really dry skin, it's just you got winter skin where your skin is just dry from the dryness in the air. I really think that you would like this. Um, you can put it on as thick or as thin as you want. It doesn't like pill up. Do you know what I'm talking about? How sometimes you put on some kind of cream products, they start to like ball up around like your hairline and stuff. I don't find that this does that. The scent is like a citrusy sweet smell and I think it smells divine. It's not overpowering in, I mean, it's a strong scent, but it's not crazy. Okay, next up we have this product from Aveda. This is called Pure Abundance and Pure Abundance Hair Potion. This stuff is like a powder on the, like inside the bottle, it's in a powder form. I'm gonna try to show you guys, I've already put some of this in my hair, so I'm probably gonna regret this. But this is meant to like build up texture, it's a hair texturizer for fullness. And I used to only use it like back here in the root section, uh, but I've started using it like down here on the ends too. Um, and you'll see, can you see that? It comes out like a powder. And then when you start to scrunch and like play with your hair, it goes, not really to a liquid, but kind of. I don't know how to explain it, but it just gives the best like texture and fullness to your hair. Ever since I cut my hair and I've been wearing it curly pretty much all the time, I really, really love this stuff. I feel like it is one of those products that actually does what it says that it does and is totally worth the money. Let's have a chat about how when Angie likes something, she tends to go a little bit overboard. Like when I like a clothing item or something, I will buy it in like every color. <laughs> um, so on Black Friday or Cyber Money, I don't remember, KL Polish, which is um, Kathleen Lights from YouTube, her, her nail polish collection, she had 50% off. I went a little crazy. You know that I like a nail polish if I will buy it in the green shade. This is called Central Park and it is a deep, deep green. I am a pink 
white and red nail polish kind of girl. But I just saw this and thought, man, I've never seen a nail polish. I, I, it has to be dark, like it can't be bright green for me. This is very dark. I'm very excited to try that one. On my nails right now, I have the color Jane. I love a good white coconut milk, and I am always, always, always on the hunt for a replacement for my favorite nail polish color of all time, which is from the Hello Kitty collection, OPI Hello Kitty collection. It's the shade Let's Be Friends. And this color, Gum Would Be Perfection, seems very similar. It's a very light, bright pink, but with like a purpley undertone to it. I don't know how to explain it, but this feels very similar to that color, Let's Be Friends. So I'm excited to try that. And I saw this color too, Taurus, which is, you guys obviously know my love for like orange, mustard, and those kind of shades. So this one was really speaking to me. This shade is called Aries and it's a nice bright reddish orange. Lots of colors that I really like and that's just like the tip of the iceberg. She has a ton of beautiful nail polish colors. So I'm really liking these so far and I didn't order like any top coats or anything from her because I just always use this Sally Hansen Insta Dry top coat because I have seven children. So getting to paint my nails is already like I mean, I have less time to paint my nails than I do to take a poop. Like, it's legit. Like, get in there, bip, 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 get out. And so I need to try to avoid messing them up directly after, which I'm sure I already have, but this helps make that less likely because it really does, like, instantly dry your nails. So I like that. Let's chat about a few clothing items here. This sweatshirt, which you guys have seen in our, oh, you can see my mic, which you guys have seen in our vlogs is from American Eagle. It has pockets. It's long, it's like a tunic length. It goes down past my butt. It's just, it's the perfect toss it on. Like I put a little striped shirt under it today. Uh, toss it on with some black leggings. I love this color. It's so comfortable, covers the booty, which is just a requirement for me and I love it. Now, here's what I really like to pair this with, these sneakers. Um, you guys know my strange and obsessive love for leopard, and I love that this just has like a touch of leopard and a touch of gold. These like, what is that brand called? Like Golden Goose sneakers that a lot of people are into right now. They're like $400 and they look like you got them from Forrest Gump after he finished his run. Do you know what I'm saying? I. There's some fashion trends. I get it. I like things that other people don't like. I'm not knocking it. You do you. But everybody has to do what they like. But for me, but I just feel like for the money, I would at least want my shoes to look new and not old. That's probably how my grandma feels about when I wear jeans that have holes in them. Like her generation just can't understand why on earth you would want to buy your jeans with holes already in them. I get it, sometimes we just don't get each other. But these shoes I think are a nice happy medium. They have a similar look as those Golden Goose sneakers, but they look new. And they only have just like a touch of the leopard and the gold, they're not over the top. Um, don't get me wrong, I love over the top. And these are from DSW. I saw these on my friend Lindsay's Instagram and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna have to have those. <laughs> and that combined with this sweatshirt and some leggings is just like the perfect outfit. It's so comfortable, looks, makes you look a little more pulled together. All of these things are good. Combina it's a good combination. All right, let's chat about some books, guys. Let's chat about some books. So uh, first of all, Danielle Walker's new book, Eat What You Love. Um, if you guys don't know Danielle Walker, you might be living under a rock because Homegirl's got like four New York Times bestselling cookbooks. Um, Against All Grain is probably the one that you've heard of the most. I had the extreme pleasure to meet Danielle when I was in LA in April and she is just a gem. She's just as sweet in person as you would imagine her to be. She's just so kind and I believe that like she genuinely cares about like her followers and the people who buy her book and because she suffers from autoimmune disorders like she really just has an empathy for people that are struggling with those things too but still wanting to eat really good food. So this book is called Eat What You Love and she's got all kinds of delicious recipes in here of food that you would love but maybe due to your food sensitivities and autoimmune disorders you can't eat. So she's just quite frankly a genius in the kitchen. Genius. Her kids are adorable. Look at them. They all just look like they're carved out of cream cheese. They're just a beautiful family. French onion soup, refried beans. She's got kid snacks in here. Um, and 
I don't know when this video is going up, but she did have two pre-order specials with her book. It goes on sale, I think, on December 4th. She sent this to me as an advanced copy, but you get um, these little added extras. So this is a packed lunch pre-order bonus chapter. And then there's a bonus chapter on Instant Pot recipes. And y'all, there is a queso in here. Look at that. Look at that. So Sierra and I are doing our meal planning and we're grabbing a bunch of recipes out of this to try. Um, I will keep you guys posted. So technically this isn't like a November favorite because I just got it, but I wanted to share with you guys um, because this book is coming out, this cookbook is coming out in the next couple of days. And I wanna support my friend because it's a beautiful cookbook. She does a beautiful job. And I think a lot of you guys will really enjoy that. Cause I know there's a lot of people um, who struggle with celiac and other issues where they can't eat typical grains and things like that. So definitely get that book. I will leave it linked down below. If you have someone in your life that you know eats that way, um, it would be a really excellent gift item. So check that out down below. And the next book also I feel like, oh, I struggle with whether or not I should include it because I've just started it, but it's just rocking my world even though I've just started it. And so I feel like anytime a book does that, here's what I wanna say about books. Let me just, I'm gonna go off on a tangent really quickly. I recommend books to you guys that I enjoy. Um, I, there's been so many things lately. I feel like I'm the kind of person that uh, when I read books, I'm not saying that I, that I endorse every single thing that is written or said in that book. Um, I just wanna be clear that like, sometimes I'm sharing books with you guys and I'm a like eat the meat, spit out the bones kind of girl. So I take what I want out of the book and what is useful to me and I sort of leave the rest if that makes sense. So I know recently I've recommended a few books that I've had people come back to me and be like, oh, I didn't really like that book or, and, and I totally get it. Like you don't have to like everything I like and I'm certainly not saying, or people saying like, I'm surprised you recommended that book because they talked about X. And I'm just the kind of person that's like, if it's not for me, then I just kind of, read on past it, you know? I will try to be more mindful though, moving forward of what books I share with you guys. Cause I wanna make sure too that I'm, I'm being clear about that. And since I didn't preface things with that, I'll just say moving forward, I will do a better job of um, really considering exactly what books I'm sharing with you guys before I share them. But just getting started, I can already tell you this book. It's called Emotionally Healthy Spirituality. It's impossible to be spiritually mature while remaining emotionally immature. Um, and he basically breaks down the top 10 symptoms of emotionally unhealthy spirituality. He unpacks core biblical principles to guide you into an experience of lasting beneath the surface transformation in your relationship with Christ. It's very, very good. It cha it's challenging. It's super challenging and really causes you to consider um, what you believe versus how you're walking out your faith, how you're living it out, things you're running from, avoiding. It's just very, very good um, so far. Like I said, I'll come back for potentially give you guys like a full picture, but right now I'm really enjoying this book. So if you're looking for something to read on over the holiday break or something like that, this has been a good one. Okay guys, I think that's everything for my November favorites and gift guide. I feel like pretty much anything I showed you guys today would be a great gift. Um, I mean, you might not wanna buy people shoes and clothes. I don't know, maybe you do. But the nail polish, the, the overnight mask, the Yeti, like so many of these things would make great gifts as well. So I will leave everything linked down below in the description box. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's Vlogmas video. I will see you guys again tomorrow for another one. Bye guys.